Hi, this is Onur Demir speaking. Today I'll be reshooting the webinar we held on 24th of October. As we had some connection issues, the webinar was not as smooth as we wanted it to be. Because of that reason, I'll be reshooting everything that I've done during this webinar uh, today and I'll be showing you how to use Ultimatum and how to use uh, responsive website design with Ultimatum and the new abilities that we have included in Ultimatum 2.7. For that reason, as always, I have created a blank WordPress installation and in that installation what I have only done is that I have imported some demo data which is WordPress.org's team unit test. So first things first, I'll be installing Ultimatum. For that, I'm going themes, add new, upload theme, choose file, and I'm selecting ultimate. When I hit install now, it will upload everything and when I will activate it. And when activated, ultimate will greet you with its screen. In the screen, it will say register with ultimate toolset this is important because when you register with Ultimatum Toolset, you will be able to download uh, plugins and themes to your Ultimatum installation. So I'm just going to Ultimatum Toolset and registering my installation with my Ultimatum account. When Ultimatum account is entered, Ultimatum will register itself and it will greet you to Ultimatum toolset. In the plugins section, you can install all the plugins we have bundled. Also in the themes section, you can install the themes that we have ready. There are only two right at the moment, but by the end of this year, we have promised and we will deliver 12 or maybe more free themes for you to use with Ultimatum. <coughs> Sorry about that. So today we will just first go through Ultimatum menus. Ultimatum has a settings menu which is documented well in our documentation section. Well, Ultimatum has a templates menu and I just want to talk about this menu today. What is template? Template is like a folder in your computer. It holds the layouts which have the common properties. So what are the common properties? The grid framework it uses, the boots watch it uses if it's a Twitter bootstrap two or three template. The width of the template the width of the template for responsive layouts for the media breakpoints let me explain a bit more i'm just hovering my template and click edit as you see if the template is responsive ultimatum will show you the media breakpoints and you will be able to insert your template width and the margin between columns for each media breakpoint also, we have three grid frameworks. One is Ultimatum, which is a highly altered version of 960 grid system. We have Twitter Bootstrap 2.3 and we have Twitter Bootstrap 3 as beta now. So when you select Twitter Bootstrap 3 beta, it will show you the boost watches available that you will be able to use. So I'm just going back. In this screen, one important thing is that this is many of our newcomers have issue with. Ultimatum will show you a blank screen when you first install it. We have a default template and within it we have a default layout, but they are not set as default by default. This is to protect our members who already have Ultimatum running on their websites. To have this fixed, just click set default button 
and everything will be fixed. Now, after setting this as a default, regenerate the CSS so that Ultimatum will write all the CSS necessities upon your installation. And then when you refresh your page, you will see Ultimatum working fine. This is a very basic template. It's not looking nice, but we will make it look very, very nice by the end of this video. So let's go to our template screen again. As you see on the screen, we have add new, import a template, create a child theme and mobile application assigner. This is only pro license, by the way. Add new, adds a new template import a template if you have a zip file of a template exported by ultimate you can import it with simply clicking here create a child theme this is very important why it's important ultimate is a theme framework it's a parent theme by the definition of wordpress so instead of altering ultimatum itself you can have a child team and you can alter anything you want in that child team so that none of your alterations will be gone by uh, an update of ultimatum they will stay intact also a child theme will give you much more freedom when you are doing any customizations so I'm just going to create a child theme today and with that child theme I'll show you how to use the basics of ultimate create a child theme screen is a very simple screen it will ask a child theme name I will give webinar theme as my theme name then it will ask a child theme slug a child theme slug is a alphanumerical value please be aware many of you make this mistake the slug cannot have any empty spaces or blank characters so for that i'm using webinar underscore theme as slug child theme image this is the screenshot image of your theme for example in my theme screen i have those images this is the image we are talking about in this form it has to be a png file if you do not have the file it's not important it will just show empty and select templates you want to move to the new child theme if you are creating a child theme and if you want to move your templates to the new child team use this option but beware this is not a copy over function. This is a move function, which means when you move this template from your ultimatum theme to the, your child theme, this template will not be available for you at the ultimatum part anymore. It will be a part of the child theme. So I'm not going to move my template because I don't want it. I'll just create everything from scratch. I hit save ultimatum says my child theme is created and now I can go to theme screen and activate it I just go to the screen and as you can see this is my theme here I activate it and the first thing you will notice is that my ultimatum menu changed its name to my webinar theme name which is my new theme name and Below it, I have settings, templates, custom post types, library, system report, etc. So, what is library? Library is our fonts library, icons library, and we have a plugin called Ultimatum Library, which you can install to have some extra fonts and icons. But I'll be using it as basic, basic as I told. We have Google Fonts here. I'm going to Google Fonts panel, and here I'll just fine for Roboto which I'll be using in this video I save the changes so that when I go back to font library home I will have Roboto condensed enabled as a Google web font for me so what I am going to do today is that I'll be 
recreating, mimicking this theme from WordPress.org, which has been developed by A Themes. It's a nice looking theme. It's a basic but nice looking theme. In this theme, as you see, we have a menu here after the image. This image stays here. We have our sorry about that we have our logo we have our menu and then we have our blog part and we have a sidebar and then we have a footer so let's go back to ultimatum and see what we can do with it so i'm just going to my template screen and add a new template i'll be using twitter bootstrap 3 for this one I'll be using a regular template. I'll leave those as default and I'll give my template a name webinar template. So I can easily select a starting point boost watch for myself, uh, but I do not want to use any boost watches for the moment. So I say my template. When I say my template, I see my template listed here and I set it as default. The warning is, is still here because I do not yet have a layout. For that, I'm just clicking layouts. And now I'm in the layout screen. As you see, we have two kinds of layouts, full layouts and partial layouts. Full layouts are the layouts you see in the front end of your website. They have every element, the header section, which includes your logo menu, etc., and the footer section, which includes your footer info information like copyright, etc., and the body part, which includes your sidebars, your content, etc. And the partial layouts are the layouts that you want to use more than once. For example, your header, your footer, a call to action section a testimonial section, a form section, a map section. Those are all partial layouts because you just want to create them once and use as many times as you want. So we are just going to create a new layout at first. I'm just naming this as main and it will be a full layout. I hit save. When I hit save, I see header, footer, body. I see available parts, which is empty because I do not have any partial layouts created yet. And then I have widgets, but nothing is working here as you see, because I do not have any sections that I can drag and drop my widgets yet. So we have insert row here. We have added CSS, template CSS and layout specific CSS. We will deal with this later. But keep in mind, if you are not obligated, if you do not have a very specific layout, do not ever use layout specific CSS. Template CSS is just enough. Same goes for the custom CSS as well. But as I told, we will come there later. Now I'm just clicking insert row. We have many row styles for you to insert. If that's not enough, you can easily insert a row by using our custom row styles elements here. Create a row style, test two column layout, and you can create your own rows. But again, this is not needed for today. So let's go back to our website, which we will be copying over. When I look at this website, we have a two thirds of a column and a one thirds of a column. Uh, so this is 66% to 33%. So I'm just going to add third, this, the, this as my row and insert. So now, 
I have space to add my widgets. Please keep in mind, the heart of a WordPress theme is the loop. The loop is the part where your content is shown. If you are on an about page, it, uh, the loop will show your about content. If you are on a blog, it will show your posts. If you're on, for example, a WooCommerce shop, it will show your shop items. If you are on a BB Press forum, it will show your forum. It will show your topics, replies, etc. So the loop is the heart. And loop is a must to have in a layout. But please remember, it's just to be included once as well. And as ultimatum, uses everything as a drag and drop element. The WordPress default loop in Ultimatum is a widget itself as well. So it's the first widget you will see. I'm dragging and dropping WordPress default loop here. It has a single post layout and a multiple po multi post layout. Just save the widget and check the options. Everything is documented in our documentation website. So you will be able to have uh, the knowledge of what is what and why is there. The form seems a bit complicated, but it's not that much complicated, which you will see later in this video. So I have my loop here. Then in the sidebar, they have search, recent post, recent comment, archives and categories. Let's add them as well. Ultimatum search. And in the search, they had a placeholder text, search and three points. This is done. Let's close it. Then they have recent posts. I'll be using ultimatum recent posts so that we will have a better layout. Okay, let's close this one as well. And the recent comments. Okay, this is done as well. They have archives and categories, but I'll not add them because our archive and category pay list will be too long as I have imported a team unit test data. So when I go back to layout screen, I'll just set this as default and let's see what happened on our side. So we have our loop here, as you see, we have recent posts, we have recent comments, and the main part of this theme is actually done at this moment. The rest is having the styling done in the way this is styled. So let's first look at our loop. It has a title, metadata, text, and taxonomy. Let's do the same. I'm just going to multi-post layout. Also, they do not have a title here. We will just close archive title. They do not have image. We will not have image as well. They have taxonomy after content, meta after title done for the single post layout again we will close the image taxonomy after content meta after title say this is done this is it now when i refresh the page the images will be gone title meta content taxonomy everything is in place the issue is that our styling is not matching it it's very easy let's have a look at this i'll be going in back end and when i come into front end we will have the most of this stuff they have a light gray background they have borders after titles they have spacing between posts post background is white this column has a white background also, 
the font they use is Roboto Condensed. It's why I have just enabled Roboto Condensed. So I'm going back to my layout settings. First of all, I'll just hit this and I'll just give this column a white background. And I'll just give this column some padding like 20 pixels on all sides. Also, let's give this 20 as well. And margin bottom 20 as well. It's always good to have those values. So I hit save and when I save, you will not be able to see anything, but there's a padding here and the 20 pixel uh, margin between widgets is here. So what I'm going to do is that I'll just go to edit CSS and template CSS. And I'll give a very, very light background color to my page. And then I'll go to H1 and say Roboto. And I'll give bold. And I'll also give a color which is dark enough. Again, Roboto. Again, bold. Again, Roboto. Again, bold. I'm not going to edit those parts. They are not needed. And I just save this. And when I come back here, you will see my column has a white background, has a nice padding. We can increase this padding easily if you want to. And we have recent posts, etc. titles as Roboto. So only part is here, which we need to fix. So what I'm going to do is that I'll go to core WordPress and posts. I'll just find the post itself and give it a background color white. And I'll just give some padding to it. And as I gave 20 to my sidebar, I'll again give 20. And between each post, I'll add a 30 pixel margin button. Now, when I save this and come back to my website, you will see now our posts are in their own boxes. So I'll just add the borders underneath the titles and we will be nearly done. So for that, I'm just going to post meta. Now for post meta, border top zero, border bottom, leave it val valueless. Give this double and let's use this value as our border color from now on. I'm just going to hit save, but before that, I will give some margin button so that they will not mix up. So this is the border. This is the border. I can easily set this color. Let's come back here. Post meta color is like this as you see the color is here as well so this is done but we are missing something let's check those have borders as well so this border is easy this sidebar border is very easy also sidebar titles has borders as well so what i'm going to do is that i'll go widgets and give this zero double and i'm just pasting the border color and let's give 10 pixels of 
margin also let's give 10 pixel at the top so they will just separate a bit more so those borders are in place as well so we just need a border around this white section and border for all those white sections this one is easy as i told i just go to templates layouts my main layout and i just click borders select three pixels as my border width my border color and solid when I hit save and refresh my page I have my border fine so I need border around those ultimatum does not have border option for this section but you can easily add this with custom CSS you can add custom CSS via your child team function or you can add just using edit custom CSS button here ultimatum uses a div with ID content to wrap all the articles so I'm just writing one line of CSS border three pixels solid so it didn't work because I have a typo here and as you see it's live it's working it's fine so as you see this versus this some line height some a little bit touch at CSS in our CSS screen will make it perfect but I'm not going to make it perfect I'm just mimicking the design with just easy to use forms as I as you see so the next part is the header so they have a gray header with white fonts and they have a menu here let's create it I'm going to my templates layouts add a new layout I'll name it header oops we did it wrong let's go back to layout screen and delete this one add new header and it will be a partial layout as you see in partial layout we do not have header body footer etc we just have a blank body I'll insert a row I'll use 75 and 25 insert I will have ultimatum menu here and I'll be using new ultimatum menu as my menu I'll just hit save close this one I'll use ultimatum logo here and let's match their text as well so that it will look like the same so I save the layout go back to layout screen in my main layout I drag and drop this into header so when I refresh this page let's just refresh it like that you see my logo is here my menu is here so I'll just go to edit layout and for this wrapper I'll use a dark background I'll give some padding save and when I refresh this is my header looks like the same so what I'm going to do is that I'll just give some margin below it let's give 30 pixels of margin below the wrapper so that this part will have some spacing 
yes so as you see everything seems fine I'll just go to my CSS editor once more so I'm going to my CSS editor scroll down and make my site logo text white also make my tagline color white as well save changes now this part is done let's check this part this menu has all the items uppercase so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to menus ultimate menu my text will be white my font family will be Roboto my text transformation will be uppercase and my font weight will be bold this should be done also the overlay should be something like that let's save this now when I refresh the page everything comes in place so there is something not looking nice here let's add some margin top for our menu like 20 pixels and here is our menu drop down etc everything working so let's keep inspecting when i refresh uh, sorry resize this window this menu converts into some menu like this okay i'm just going to my layouts again in my header layout i'm just going to add my menu a value where it will convert into a mobile menu i'll set it as 850 and i'll be using mobile on top and hit save now when i refresh my page everything is fine and this is our mobile menu which is much more smooth than the one in the free theme so now we have everything set let's keep going forward it has a very dark footer with one line of text let's add this as well so we will be done with the template mainly add new footer partial save insert row 100% insert and now I'm going to add a text widget here and paste the text here and we will give all our kudos to a themes because they own this design and it's a great design in my opinion it's clean it's easy for the eye so we are just going to add this into our layout sorry about that okay now as you see it's here but the background color is not given hit edit layout here easy wrapper css background give it very dark and in font styling this time give general font a white and give padding as always now we have the theme recreated so what next well we have used ultimatum menu here ultimatum menu is one of the new features also all the old members have already seen that our css generating screens are all overhauled so ultimatum menu let's use this we are just going to appearance themes menus and let's make it like that 
sub 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 so that we have one sub item here okay let's have it like that okay we have one two three sub items so what I'm going to do is that I'll just hit enable ultimatum mega menu and I'll just make it full with mega menu and hit save you will see a big change this is our mega menu so what can we do more I'll just go to menus get this item and place it here and save the menu I'll not go to front end yet I'll just go to sidebar and let's add several sidebars sidebar 1 sidebar 2 sidebar 3 that's enough I'm going to widgets in sidebar 1 I'll add a calendar in sidebar 2 I'll add an archive drop down and archives and in sidebar 3 I'll add categories as cat talk as drop down save 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 calendar save so I have three sidebars I have randomly added what I'm going to do is that I'll just go to menus I'll make this as a widget area and save it let's see what happens we have widgets here we can place anything we want here <clears throat> sorry about that we can place images we can place widgets we can place anything anything we want also one more thing let's go here and let's add fa fa book we wrote it as font awesome name but you can use any icon font with, with within here any icon font which uses i tag so i'm saving the menu also as you might see you can select an image to be shown i'm refreshing my page and you see the icon here you can use as many ultimate menus in a page as many as you want sorry so let's go back to our layout screen let's make it a bit cooler I'm going to edit layout and instead of mobile on top I'll use mobile on side so what will it do let's visit site so as you see we have a new link here and a new menu here and the best part is coming I'm just going to do a trick here I'll convert my menu into side menu. I'll add top widget area, bottom widget area, and I'll just go back to ultimatum menu. Also, let's go back to side menu and make it darker. Let's go to ultimatum menu. Save. Now, when I refresh this page, you see my archives and my categories everything works fine so we are done with the sorry about this template itself so what 
are we going to do? What if we wanted to have a page with sidebar on left instead of right? I would just go to layout, add new, and say lefty. It will be a full layout. Hit save, insert row. Now, as it will have a left sidebar, it should be looking like that, right? Insert it. WordPress default loop is here. Ultimatum search is here. We will not have image. Save. Okay, that's enough. And I'm just going to pages and let's visit this page. Okay, it seems nice, but I'm just going to change its layout to lefty. So let's view page now. It's a lefty. I don't have background color for this column yet, but it will come nice. So what I'm going to do is that I'll edit this layout at background color white. And then I'll add the paddings so that it will match my other layout. I'll add header. I'll add footer. And then let's go back, back, refresh. Everything is in place. So Let's see something. When I resize this, search comes first, content comes next. What if I wanted to have this order different? It should have been better. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to edit this layout. And I'll insert a row, actually write a row. I'll drag and drop it here, drag and drop this here, and let's delete this one. Now, pay attention. For this column, I'll add an additional class, which is Twitter Bootstrap 3 class. Call MD push. push this is 8 by 4 so I'll push it four columns hit save and for this one let's give the background color white first and the padding 20 20 20 20 I'll give call md pull 8 it will pull this column for 8 columns now this was our page let's view it so it's totally different but when I resize it the content is the first item to, to be seen and then the search form. This is how we do responsive websites with responsive position in Ultimate. So everything is great. We have three new menu systems. We have Twitter Bootstrap tree. We have great CSS edit screens. And what, what's, what else? We have full body press support which we have written a blog about and in that blog you will see how it's done let's do it a bit together i'm just going to plugins 
add new by the press install now activate the plugin in my by the press settings I'll add friend connections, private messaging, user groups, save it. Let's update our permalink structure as well. Save changes. Also, I'll add a new plugin called body press default data. This plugin will create us some dummy users with dummy content. Let's activate it so that we will have our website with data. Okay, it's done. Now when we go to our activity you will see we have a good looking by the press site but with ultimatum connect by the press it will look better i'm just going to my dashboard ultimatum toolset plugins by the press install and activate the plugin now just see what has happened. Totally responsive with Twitter bootstrap menu. Everything matches the style of the site. And we have some other options like in settings we have now the connect menu and we have body press here let's inverse the menu the menu is inversed let's make the member pages vertical the page is vertical the menu is below the avatar and i'll just refer resize it menu is responsive bootstrap the same applies to the group pages as well let's go to groups this is my group page this is my vertical group page so this is ultimatum 2.7 with ultimatum connect for body press Thank you for watching this video. I'll be gladly answering your questions via our forums. Again, I'm sorry about the uh, poor performance in the webinar lately due to our connection issues. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.